shoot, we gotta go. All right, down to 20 seconds, third and inches. We're only in bunch. We getting all, goddammit. Let's get it. We made niggas put the rose bottles up. We made the whole city boss, they like fuck. Boss, they like fuck. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush, bitch. We made niggas, you know we love the stunt. Stunt. We made niggas put the rose bottles up. We made the whole city boss, they like fuck. Boss, they like fuck. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush, bitch. We made niggas, you know we love the stunt. Stunt. We made niggas wanna go and hit hush. Now it's Nari and Shine. Ryan with Don Michael and we sitting on shots. Yeah, bitch, this a white tee, this East Laurent. Yeah, how you like that? Told my plug, give me 50, came right back. Now the whole hood jumping like some jumping jacks. Yeah, I love rats, plus I got cheese. Got white bitches, Puerto Rican, Japanese. Rolling green peas, we call it Cali Bass. Play stupid, get hot ones to your flesh. In the coop, about to put the dash to the Hey everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. John Eats, back with you. Got another game for you today, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We are creeping our way, slowly but surely, getting 900 subs, and then after that, our goal is of course 1,000. If we get there, I got a special video I'm planning. I'm gonna go back to like the beginning of my channel when I started doing these uh, games at Oregon State and whatnot, and kind of just pick out the best moments and put it together for you for a short video. Um, so if you just subscribe recently, you can get a sense of uh, you know how these things kind of went and looked when we first started, and now we're three years in the future, and I think they've changed a lot in a good way. Anyways, got a game against Auburn today, three and one. Back to another SEC game. We got ten straight SEC games, I think. Uh, or nine straight, and then a couple non-conference games at the end of the season. So the gauntlet just continues, but this is a big game, all right? We got a lot of guys visiting today. I'll show you who's coming in for this game. So not only do we have to win, we got to win big and show out and get a lot of guys committed because we've got some really good recruits in our class that we're hoping to bring in this year. Uh, check out our last game. I, we lost, so I don't like telling you to go watch a loss, but it was a good game. 38-35 was the final. Uh, we spotted Tennessee so many points, made so many mistakes. Only reason we lost is because, you know, we made those mistakes and really we lost the game for ourselves. So we can't do that today. Made it close, fought hard all the way towards the end. But yeah, I just really love to take control of this game early, control it the whole time, and blow this team out. We haven't done that in a minute. Even LSU is a competitive blowout. I just want a straight blowout. 50 to nothing, hammer these dudes. That would be nice. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll see. All right, let's get into the episode. All right, as I mentioned, a lot of guys coming in today. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten guys, I believe, if my count is correct. Um, and here's a look at who exactly is coming in this week. Josh Walker, uh, PJ Rutledge. By the way, check out our recruiting episodes because you would already know this if you watched those. So please go check those out. Uh, Henderson, Haynes, Watkins, Bonner, Martin, Rogers, Adams, Tanner down here, 68 overall. Strong safety, a lot of really, really good players. I think Rutledge is coming in later on in the season, but either way, we gotta bring in, um, I'm hoping to bring in a lot of these guys. I'd love to get them all, I know we're not gonna get them all, but most of them, we can lock some up this week, so let's see what we can do about that. All right, running through Auburn's you know, team preview a little bit, uh, dual threat quarterback, I think Matt's, no, no, it is Smith. Uh, Smith's their guy, pretty fast, see how good his arm is. Um, receivers, pretty good, this guy's, Nice. I wish I had this guy on my team. 6'5", 95 speed, 93 excel. They got speed all over in the receiver room, so that's going to be something we're going to have to contain. Interesting note here, stacked at running back, but their top two are injured, 94, 92. But luckily for them, oh, we got a 91 overall guy right behind as well, and he's pretty slow. But uh, with the sliders we play on, you know, it doesn't matter really what your numbers are. You're going to be good, um, and that's just how we like to play. Offensive line's pretty good. Their guards aren't the best. 79-83, and the right tackle's not great either. So if we're going to pressure, probably going to want to do it off the edges. One of their good defensive ends, I say good, he's not really that good, is out. So D-line, they're really thin and not good. So I said we tried to run the ball last week, and, um, you know, that didn't really work out too well for us. But, you know, we got behind early, so that's kind of why. Uh, outside linebackers aren't good either. And corner, they got a top corner here in Simmons. But other than that, I mean, from an overall standpoint, not great. I don't know what's going on with the SEC, but they just, like, don't have much talent across the board of these teams. Um, so there's some weaknesses we can attack here. As always, here's our sliders. Heisman everything, six-minute quotas. Speed threshold at zero. If you want to use these in your gameplay, info is down below. 
um, user and CPU, as you can see, heavily favoring the other team. That's why we always get good games. This will probably be another one. Interesting things in the game preview. Auburn really doesn't do anything well. Very middle of the pack at everything. We've got the top pass offense in the country. One of the worst run offenses in the country. Defensively, we're pretty solid at 36, but our pass defense hasn't been good this year, and I agree with that. Too many big plays we've given up, so we're going to try to clean those up today. Our schedule, all games on YouTube. Bama's 0-4. Yikes. Um, check those out if you've missed any. And here's Auburn's. They've Lost one game. It was actually to that Missouri team that's had an excellent start to the season. But other than that, opponent records, 1-7. And, and FCS, I don't even know what you would. They barely beat them. So this team hasn't played anybody. Not scary by any stretch of the imagination. We should win this game. Um, our numbers this year, Edwards is slinging it, but he's also slinging it to the wrong team too much. Six picks. Let's try to get zero picks this game. That'd be nice. Grant's just... You know, fine, but he should be better. Brown has been really darn good. Uh, triple digits again. I think that's three games in a row. He's crossed the century mark. Uh, two touchdowns. Rhodes, been steady. Huggins was quiet last week. See if he can get going with some sacks and TFLs today. Smith, below 50% completion percentage. He leads the team in rushing and passing. So, got to contain him. Um, that receiver, Williams, I'm not sure if he's a 6'5 guy or not, but he's... He's good. Four touchdowns, 255. Defense is nobody really uh, leading the way as a headliner. So we're ready to go. Like I said, I just love to come out and control the game, not make any mistakes, take care of business, and do so really well. Let's go. All right, come on. Every time I call this play up, we don't make the read. Can we make the read and have the time to do it one time? That'd be great. Finally, oh, but Edwards short arms the throw. Livingston has to come back for it, and now we got a pump. All right, let's go, defense. They've really been carrying us all season, I feel like. Oh, I should have gone for the pick there. No, oh, that's me. Good throw. Uh, we should have had somebody else back there, I feel like. Not a good uh, defensive drive at all. You guys know who I was throwing to there, right? <laughs> Grant's wide open, and Edwards literally threw it right to their player. Good hit, good hit. Let's go, Rhodes. Turn us up. Oh, how did we miss him? Get it! Finally! Finally! I've been asking, pleading, begging for a fumble by a quarterback for weeks! Finally! That shoulder on football by McCoy there. Excellent hit. Teamed up with Rhodes. That should get us going here. Let's go, Robinson. Got him. All right, Nelson, all right. Oh, he burned him. Right there. Oh, Edwards. Again, he's wide open on the in route. If he catches the ball, he scores a touchdown. 
What is going on with Edwards right now? Stick her out. Nice catch. Now, so way to get the feet down, man. Got. Another bad throw. Nelson gets inside. He burns him by a step, and the throw is behind. Nelson's trying to catch that on the on his back hip. If it's out in front, it's a touchdown, man. Come on. This is the worst I've ever seen him play. Are you serious? How did he sneak through there? How is that possible? We had him dead to rights for maybe a two-yard gain. Like, I need to see this. Okay. I'm honestly at a loss for words right now. How does that happen? Oh, to make it even worse, he breaks our old record with Shane Austin for longest ever touchdown run in this video game. Gonna have to go back and find that footage. What a disaster, dude. Don't you dare fumble. I was about to say, dude. You've got... Bro, he can't make a single throw right now. He's wide open over the middle of the field. Like, at a certain point, this is inexcusable. Oh, get it? What a freaking hit by Burley, man. Almost had the fumble. We should have had the fumble. Screen. I hate screen plays this year. We get the stop, but that... We used to pick these off like clockwork. Oh, wide open. Plenty of room for Grant. Good run. Wide open, Robinson up the freaking seam, man. Wide open, who, who messed up? Every time, this right guard gets swam on every time. Nice, good vision, way to hit that. Easy box, let's go. There you go, there you go. Get there, thank you. Grant's honestly the only one stepping up today, to be honest with you. Alright, I think we got to play for the run here. So we're going to stack it up and send Thomas on a free safety blitz. Roll out. Make the tackle. Let's go! He's short! Yes, sir! Alright! Look at us! That'll do. He's out. He's out of bounds? Are you kidding me, bro? He literally landed out of bounds. God, come on, man. That's ridiculous that that's not something that stops the clock there. So you make that throw, but you can't make the other, like, seven throws would have had to score a touchdown. He was completely out of bounds, by the way. I don't think we're going to be able to get this off. We don't have the timeout. We're going to have to go to the end zone, I guess. Damn, I wish we had a timeout. We didn't even get the playoff. Ugh. That have to not go our way at all. We play on tough sliders. Sometimes it's glitchy and just crazy like that, where Edwards can't make any throws. He was out of bounds on that. They had a 99-yard run. You see that like once a, a, like a century. It can't get any worse. And we're only down four. So we're going to win this game. Don't even worry. Nothing. Nothing. Way to shut that down, baby. Corey Fuller setting the edge on that one. Nope. D How? How does... 
How does that happen? How does that happen? <laughs> it wasn't even me this time. What are you guys doing, bro? Thomas, you're an All-American. Can you play like it? Deep zone. Four-man blitz. That's it. There's no reason why he should be getting behind you. That is ridiculous. Oh, big play. Beat him. Nice run. Really well blocked. We've run the ball well today. That's a hell of a play by that corner. I threw it to him and he was open, but that close was unreal. I mean, look at that speed. I want Brown to come back to the ball there, but that's just a hell of a play. Really? Really? I mean, <laughs> may as well. Whatever. Finally! God, he's been missing that throw all game. Nice catch. Way to hold on. He easily could have dropped that pass. I don't know why Thomas is in the game, but he just made a play. That's my free safety. I don't know what he's doing on offense. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got work to do. Come on. Come on, man. That was an all-out blitz. Like... Oh no, the quarterback's in now. What? Where did he come from? And down he goes around the 13 yard line. I don't even know. Good catch, good catch, good catch. They played that pretty well. That's literally the game right there. That turnover just put us away. We're screwed. Or that. Give me that. Wow. Damn. Okay, bro. Nice. Let's go. Good hit, man. This one right here. This is the play we need. Please. Fine, we got two guys there. Nice. Way to tackle. Third down and long. Come on. Nice. Way to get him down. All right. Um, not going to call timeout. You're going to save that timeout. Good. Good way to start. Way to get out of the pocket and find someone. Get that block. Yes, sir. Livingston, you better get to the pylon, baby. Yeah! Come on! Again, we kick off because if they get a first down, 
Um, you know, they're in field goal range and the game's over, so we gotta keep them far back in field position. Good, good, time out. Oh, what a freaking tackle by Burley. Come on, bro, we're selling out for the run. This is the game right here. Nothing, nothing, fumble! Oh my God, if we get that fumble, we're chilling. All right, either way, we got the stop. We got the ball and a chance to tie the game, just like last game. Let's go, we threw a pick, weren't clutch last game. Let's change that this game, let's do it different. God, throw the ball away. Come on, Nelson. Oh, he's got a step. Thomas Nelson. All the way down to the 10. Let's go. Bruh. We gotta go. All right, down to 20 seconds, third and inches. We're only in bunch. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. No! No! What? He's out of bounds! You've gotta be kidding me. He's pushed out of bounds. How does the clock run out? Can somebody please explain that to me? That doesn't make any sense, bro. He got pushed out of bounds. How does the clock keep running? This has been the most frustrating season of this video game ever. F that. I mean, seriously, F that. The amount of times we got f over that game is just ridiculous. Has nothing to do with sliders, anything. It's all about the game. It's like, think of how many times this dumb missed wide open receivers this game. Completely unfair. Misses the game-tying touchdown on a wide-open slant play that is so routine I could do it high, drunk, blindfolded, without arms. Like, come on, man. Edwards, you know, a lot of passing yards, but he played like crap. The amount of freaking wide-open touchdown passes he missed. Grant, I don't even care. Like, he, he probably his best game of the season, but who cares? We lost the game. Nelson Robinson had a career game. I don't. That's probably the best game of his life. Livingston had a long touchdown. Brown was a non-factor. Didn't do crap today. Defense, you know, Rhodes played well. Fuller played well. Fuller had a sack. Huggins was just nowhere to be found. Passing game, you know, passing defense was trash. Fuller, Burley, Rose, and forced fumbles. Only had one recovery on that. Again, another game we dominate. Yardage. First downs, third down conversions, red zone. They had one red zone possession. Four turnovers is what did us in. Ridiculous, man. We'll, we'll talk about it in post game, but mm, I don't even, I, I can't, I have no words at this point. I am just so pissed off at the fact that we lost two games in a row that we damn well should have won. I'm not one of those people that's going to throw the controller and break the Xbox and all this sh all this crap. I mean, it's just a video game, but it still means something to me. That's why I invest the time to play and edit and put these videos up for you guys on YouTube. And that just was asinine. Like, we should have won that game. Watch the replay. There's probably six different plays where it should have been a touchdown. It just didn't go that way. Whatever. Again, we lose the game because of ourselves, because of some glitches, because the slot, you know, whatever. You can blame it on whatever you want. The point is we lost the game. 
and we should have won again for the second week in a row. And we're probably not going to make the playoff now. And we should be 5-0. and That's, This is the worst record we've had, I'm pretty sure, through five games in this dynasty. And this team is so much better than 3-2. and two. Just the mistakes, man. The fumble that uh, Grant lost. The interception that led to a touchdown. The 99-yard touchdown run, which should have just been a damn tackle. The play before that, where we threw a pick on the one-yard line. The end there, when... We flare it out to Grant, who I thought was open, but we should have just thrown it out of the back of the end zone and regrouped for, a, you know, a run play to win the damn game or, you know, tie the game and go to overtime. When it's like this and it's so in our control and so doable, it just sucks, man. I would have rather lost 38-17 to than 38-31, to where we do everything we can to scratch and claw our way to get back in and have a chance to win, only to blow it again. We'll see you on the next episode. Like, subscribe, all that crap.